Hey everybody, this is uh, PB again, and I'm going to show you how to make a debug eboot. Um, you might wonder why you'd want a debug eboot and what is a debug eboot. Well, without a debug eboot, you can't run their RTM tools or anything. And uh, let's say there's an update and they you can't, they can't get the menus going right away. Um, we can make a, a debug eboot real quick and usually be able to use some of some of the prior tools that we used on the before the update sometimes you can't but tools come out a lot faster than menus so um, if you have a debug eboot to get you through at least you can do some stuff um, with tools until the menus come out anyways alright so uh, I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is show you how to quickly make one because it, it's uh, it's so simple it's stupid actually um, and I'm gonna use um, Grand Theft Auto uh, eboot real quick and I'm gonna take this eboot I'm gonna copy it and I'm gonna paste it right over here in the self folder uh, to self resigner by true ancestor and I'm not gonna need that again because I'm not actually gonna use this eboot I'm just using it for demonstration okay so you put it in the same folder as your tool your resigner tool okay and then you're going to start up your resigner tool and you have a few options here you can decrypt eboot only uh, decrypt eboot f self only um, you only use nine if it's already been um, if it's a debug already I guess you'd say so I'm going to use the option of one and uh, and then you hit enter Decrypting eboot, decrypt eboot finished, press anything to continue. All right. All right. Now you look here, it, it made an elf file. Okay. It decrypted this eboot into an elf. It was that simple. All right. I'm going to get rid of this eboot for you right now because I don't need it. Okay. Now here's the here's stupid part. Um, use command prompt, and you'll see I have uh, make f self exe right here. In order to to fire this up, I have to use command prompt, and uh, and here's how it's going to work. Okay, I open it up, and I want to make this file or this uh, tool run, so I type it in the name right here. Um, I put uh, make underscore f self, just like that, and uh, space. And I'm going to in caps because that's. Let me move this over so you can see. I'm going to type in the eboot.elf right here. eboot.elf. Okay. Make another space. And I'm going to type uh, eboot.bin. Okay. Now, essentially, what this is doing is telling this tool to take this elf and turn it into and resign it to an eboot again and when you do that it makes a debug eboot uh, so you just hit enter Boop. and now you have a, a debug eboot it put it right back in the same folder again now I know that <laughs> seems like that cannot be all there is to it but I assure you that's exactly all there is to making a debug eboot. Thanks for watching. Hope this helped.